Today we are in the stunning town of Penapier di Monte and we have got a detached property that is just going to blow your mind. Just wait, just wait while you see this one. So Penna Piedimonte is just a jewel. A jewel in the crown of stunning Abruzzo. It's actually been nicknamed the Matera of Abruzzo. Just look how beautiful this place is. As soon as I've started talking, the sun's gone in. <laughs> look how amazing this place is. What an incredible antique centre. Only a small town, extremely popular for visitors, and but it has all the basic facilities. And it also has a great bar here, another bar and restaurant down into the older part of town. It has a hotel at the top, this hotel Scaffi that also has a restaurant. Then beyond that is a bar and another restaurant. So I've seen a couple of videos that people have done in this area and they've said there's there's nothing here. Uh, I don't know, I don't think they've visited the town properly to be honest with you, because it's, uh, it's fantastic. The restaurants are fantastic here. And the view you get, I don't know if you can see the, the, the hotel at the top, the view you get from that restaurant is, uh, is, is this, which uh, is pretty good, don't you think? Amazing. Can you see the sea? So let me give you a few little pointers just so you can uh, understand where we are. So Guardia Grel, which is an amazing town, is just here on the hill. So it takes 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes maximum. In between here and Guardia Grel, we have Bocca di Valle, mouth of the valley, where there's restaurants, walks. It's just amazing. Then we have other local towns. My hometown of Palombaro, which is just on the hill here. We have Faro San Martino that's around this corner. And then we have Casali in the distance. I don't know if you, I don't even know if I'm pointing in the right place. I've got quite a small screen. And it's just so easy to get around. Once you get towards Casali, you go on a superstrada that takes you straight to the coast. Or behind us, you pick up a superstrada at this this side that takes you straight towards Chieti and Pescara. So you do need transport, you do need your own transport. There are buses that pass but they're, they're sort of in, in times with the schools so you can't really, it would be difficult just to purely rely on uh, public transport but it is there if needs be but you're so close to, to other places where you can pick up public transport. It's just amazing isn't it? It is stunning, isn't it? <laughs> and today we've got an amazing, amazing, amazing property to show you. And it's in a little hamlet, this hamlet, which is just down here, and it's called Capolo Grotti. Beautiful little hamlet, and there's some expats down there as well, and a few families that live uh, live down there. You're also close to a restaurant that's just. Uh, an agriturismo restaurant just here and you're also really close to where I live I live well between here and Palombaro there's sort of a little a little group of houses I'm in I'm in that group there so that's obviously a bonus as well isn't it <laughs> or is it but what a brilliant area the place we're going to see as I say is in this is in this group of uh, houses I forgot my uh, I forgot my glasses, so I don't know if I'm pointing to the right place. But there is a white house. You see the side, the side of a white house, uh, and that's the that's the property we're going to see. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Wow, you see this one. Shall we have a little look around the the village? I say a great bar. It's beautiful in there. Well, any time now they'll be putting the tables and chairs out. You can just sit out here. 
And this is so picturesque, isn't it? So incredible. Amazing place. I often come up here just to just to have a bit of a walk, especially at the top of this town. A place called Balzolo. If you get the chance, have a look at that. I should have probably taken the video up there today, but I'm a little bit short for time, to be honest with you. <laughs> Not very professional, me, is it? But I wanted to show you the town first, but have a look at Balzolo on the internet. B A L Z O L O. And it's a walk into the mountains that will just blow your mind. Let's have a look down this way just to give you a little feel of the of the old town. We're going to be getting a, this property soon, which we'll do a, a, a video of. It's only a small place, but perfectly formed. The pavements and everything so, so nicely done here. So, so nice. Buongiorno. People are so friendly as well, as they always are in all these, these towns and villages. Look at the beautiful Maella stone. You know, watching the, the, uh, the older generation that, that walk around nearly tripped up then walk around these towns, up and down the steps, carrying shopping and everything else. And you just think to yourself, when I'm out of breath, just coming up a, a short incline, <laughs> it's terrible, it's embarrassing. Anyway, look how beautiful these properties are. Nice to see glimpses of the beautiful stonework. Couple of B and B's in the in the town as well. Pigeon just scared the life out of me. Look how beautiful this is. If this doesn't help take the stress away from life, then I don't know what does. And all of these steps all lead up to the top of the town, to Balzolo, church bells. And my telephone. <laughs> so one question I have is how is that cat managing to balance and fall to sleep on there? Anyway. So yeah, all these ways, all these markings tell you where to go to get to different things. There's different properties that have old oil presses in them uh, there's all sorts of things to see here look at this amazing stone it's so old but it's just so precise so yeah there's lots to lots of things to see and as i say even though you're right on the mountainside you're really stuck to the mountainside you you're so close to the coast as well so you've got the best of all worlds best of all worlds not words and it also looks like they have fiber optics by the look of it as well can't get my words out today i went to a party last yesterday and eight my next door neighbor was 80 years old so shout out to rena bless her and we went into the restaurant at one o'clock and came out at half past nine so you can imagine what kind of a day we had <laughs> look how amazing this is this is a medieval water fountain. It's where they used to come and scrub their, their clothes. And people just carve it, or used to carve into the mountainside to use them just to then scrub their, scrub their clothes. It's just amazing. You can see why they called it the, uh, the Matera of Abruzzo. I don't know if you've seen Matera down in uh, Basilicata, which is uh, another town built into the into the rocks so let's just take a, a walk to the end of the town because it literally just falls off the edge now usually there's a dog down here that 
barks as soon as it sees me but we'll see we might get away with it today amazing just look at the mountain here here he is <laughs> That'd be a nice garden, wouldn't it? He just wants to let us know that he's there. And this is part of... Balzolo is a walk, basically, into the mountainside there. It's just amazing. You must, you must visit that. Look at the rock again. You getting the feeling for this place? Fantastic, isn't it? So this would be your local village. But as I say, you're close to Guardia Grail, you're close to Palombaro, Far San Martino, you're close to the coast, you're close to ski resorts, you're close to everything. This place, the property we're gonna see, is a very special one. It's, uh, you get so much for your money. It's unbelievable, it really is. It's going to be, it's going to make somebody very, very happy. Okay, so we've seen a little bit of Penapier di Monte. Are you ready to go down to the property? Let's do it. So I was going to go to the house, but uh, Claudio, my colleague here, quite rightly said, we can't not show Balzolo. So we've decided to come up here and show you quickly before we go down to the house. This is where Penna Piedimonte gets its name from. This is the the fin at the foot of the mountain. Because it looks like a shark fin, doesn't it? And here we are on top of Penna Piedimonte. We've been filming down below. In fact, you can see the church spire here. And the property we're going to see is in that group just above the church spire. The white house that's on its side, that's the one we're going to see. Amazing views up here. But I want to show you something very special. Very, very special. So up here, this gets, I know you wouldn't believe it now, but it's so, it's so, uh, so popular up here. Uh, in sp from springtime onwards, uh, and weekends packed full of people and the bar's closed today because everybody has a, a, a day of rest here in Italy and today is the day for these and usually they have tables, chairs out all in this, this part and below this there's a restaurant so just underneath here and then this is the Hotel Scaffe and uh, they also have a restaurant that's the one I pointed out from below and it's a brilliant restaurant as well both of these are superb so for a small town it certainly has its things but just look at this now as you know I suffer from vertigo but strangely enough I'm actually all right up here and I can't work that out but this is Balzolo just look at this Amazing. You notice how I went quiet. You can see the fin again. Up there. That's the best view of it. And then, imagine living here. <laughs> and then the best part of Balzolo is what is round this corner. And here you can walk for hours and there's rock pools at the end it's just incredible just look at this how amazing is that we're actually stood on top of a waterfall I don't know if you can hear the water you may see it just coming out a little bit here and basically what you can do is you go through that tunnel there's a picnic area after a 10 minute walk not even 10 minutes and then I don't know if you can see the white line, I'm probably not even pointing at it, this screen's too small, but there's a white line that goes all the way along. You just follow that pathway. It's quite high, but the walkway is always this, this wide. 
not all in it is it, it's not difficult to do but it's quite rough underneath because it's all stones and things but it's absolutely stunning it's it's incredible so you can either walk up past the fin and that takes you then on and up to blockhouse to the ski resorts or you can do this walk that is just amazing and the mad thing is from here in half an hour you sat on the beach how wild is that incredible we love coming here usually on a sunday after a after a meal somewhere we come up here sometimes maybe just get a little drink at the bar you know not too much <laughs> and then have a little walk in this unbelievable place church bells are going again <laughs> what a place are you ready to see the house now are you sat comfortable do you have a glass of something or a cup of something tell me in the comments what are you doing at this moment I bet you wish you were here let's go and see this amazing place So here we are in the middle of what could be your plot of land and you know what it's just incredible here it is absolutely it's stunning beyond belief <laughs> it really is amazing I'm, I'm actually a little bit lost for words to be honest with you it does happen every now and then doesn't it this place is huge the amount of potential you've got in this property is just incredible what you get for the price is mind-blowing and it's in such an amazing location right at the foot of the beautiful Myala mountain range and the town where we started the video I don't know if you can see it between the trees you're close to Palombaro you're close to Guardia Grele as in 15 minutes close close to Casoli, Fara San Martino you're 35 35 40 minutes from the coast you're about 40 minutes from the airport 45 minutes to the airport it's just unbelievable I absolutely love it and the other great selling point for this property is I only live five minutes down the road that's got to be worth something <laughs> so before we have a look at the house and around the house I just want to tell you how the land how the land works there is the most adorable dog here that uh, whines quite a lot not because it's not being looked after but it just wants to be stroked so uh, I was going to ask the neighbor, ask the owners to uh, to move him, but no, it just adds to the adds to the video. So obviously, this land, everything we're looking at at the moment, belongs to the property. But obviously, to the right of this, this is somebody else's. You are in a hamlet, as you've seen, as I pointed out from before. So there are other houses close to you, but that's fantastic because it gives you that real. That traditional feel of being part of a part of an Italian community and just look at the views around here unbelievable and that this side this belongs to the property this that's fenced off so to the fence here I don't know if you can see that and up to the canes at the top nearly and this is all fenced off because the guy that or the people that the the couple that own it used to have this as their allotment as their uh, where they grow the vegetables and things but as they've obviously got a little bit older they've moved it to the front of the house which I'll show you shortly I don't know if you can see there in the distance but that's Palombaro and I live very close by between here and Palombaro this is amazing these olive trees are fantastic so the way the land works is it goes up to this whatever this is just a, a marker and it goes down to the telegraph post 
and then basically cuts across to the fence at the other side. Look at these views. You can hear the hum of machines in the countryside. People are trimming, trimming the olive trees. It is so peaceful up here. But yet you're so close to everything. This is why we chose this area because I love the peace and quiet, but you can be in some great towns and villages within no time at all. Down to the coast in just over half an hour and up to the ski resorts in less than an hour. Just doesn't get any better. Amazing. So before we go in the house, I want to carry on showing you a few little bits that I need to show you out here. You're going to meet my little friend, the dog, shortly. He's probably run off, probably seen the camera run off. Now this, this here, this track that goes to the back of the house, I'm going to show you the entrance of the house as well. This is actually a track that runs down here and it used to go right down to there. There's a, a stream at the bottom and it, it is for the use of this land and this house, obviously, but also for the land, for the people that own the land below. But nobody ever comes to that land now because they live in Florence and they just don't come. In fact, I think this person trims the olive trees and takes the, uh, takes the olives as well. But you need to know that it is a communal track but it's also for yourself. This person that has this land over here, he, the lady told me that he passes by maybe once or twice a year when he buys wood. And you can see all his wood piles down there. He must own one of the houses down the back there. Um, so he does come once every now and then. But does that really matter? I don't think it does. This all belongs to the property. Obviously it's fenced off because they've got the little dog there who's suddenly gone silent now. Must be camera shy, must be. Uh, so all of this belongs, it goes right up to this grey property. So they've got no back garden at all. It all belongs to this property. But look how amazing this is. And there's a, a few, few people that live here. There's not many uh, families, but there are some people and they're really nice. It's just a, just a great place to be. It really is. One of those places where you just have to come to appreciate everything. It's just unbelievable. And this house is huge. And it's got unbelievable views from all these windows. And it looks like it's possibly a stone house as well. So you could reveal some stone if you wanted to. I would have to check to see if it is, but I'll check as we go upstairs. But look at this. Look how amazing this is. So although somebody could pass every now and then with a tractor, it's just, the lady says you, you don't even notice it, notice it at all. So you're not gonna be bothered at all. Look at this for a, it's like a barbecue or something. <laughs> somebody's, somebody's homemade barbecue, amazing. Then we have, so obviously all the land, as I mentioned, this side of the fence, down to the corner, then it has that big piece that goes up there that used to be the, the allotment, and then all these olive groves. Then you've got this area here that they park the car, but this would also be a great shaded area to eat out here. Imagine putting your tables and chairs out here. We have storage here. I'm not actually seeing inside of this. And I can't open it. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, it's quite a good size storage, actually. Perfect. Things that you need for the, for the garden area. How amazing is this? Just imagine firing up that homemade barbecue and just being amongst this unbelievable countryside. Can you hear the dog? Let's go and, uh, let's go and meet him. There he is. I'm going to show you the rest of the garden, so here's my little friend. Done a close-up for the camera, no? Oh dear, I better get him back in. <laughs> Managed to get him back in. <laughs> He's such a jolly little fella, I wanted to do a video of him, anyway. So this belongs to the property. 
obviously got his uh I've oh, got there tomato plants and lettuces already well on the way the heat in there my word beautiful day today absolutely stunning day so as I say you have got properties close by but you own all of this so you can just put some hedging up there to cover this a little bit more this is just an amazing I don't know what you would do here maybe just create some really nice patio areas I think unless you're a keen gardener just look at those views again that's Penapier de Monte up there and look at the size of this place so obviously these are the houses that are close by but they don't have any back garden at all So well, there are some neighbours close by, but I, I like that. I love to feel part of a community. I know how important that is here. And you will as well. Amazing. Huge, huge, huge property. And at an absolute bargain price. It's even got air conditioning throughout as well. And it's actually completely habitable. You don't need to do anything. You know that I'm going to start saying a few things that I would change, but there's my friend again. Are you going to come on video this time? Ah. <laughs> okay, so let me show you how it works on the outside before we go in, as in the entrance. Claudio's just ducking out the way now. Claudio's who I work with in this area. He made a quick, a quick exit. So, basically, the road, the road comes down here, and this is the little, the little area, perfect timing, they just start cutting, sawing wood just as I'm talking, that's the side of the property. This is obviously, these people, some people live here, people live in the next one. So you've got a nice little community area as well. Claudio's camera shy. <laughs> so, the, so the property actually starts from where he stood there. And to the right hand side of this, this fence. Perfect. So that's how it all works on the outside. But when you turn this corner, you're in your own paradise. And it is paradise. And those church bells are ringing at the perfect time. And so is my telephone. <laughs> okay, so we start looking in the house. You've seen enough outside. You can feel how amazing it is. Let's look inside. So there is a huge amount of property to show you. If you wanted to get rid of this goldy thing, you can. And just show off these doors again. Oh say, okay, oh say, okay. So to the left of us is obviously the garage. Look at the nice granite floors. And to the right, we have, traditionally, people would use these downstairs rooms as cantinas, which is exactly what they've done now. So they would store, potentially, olive oil and things like this. This actually looks like it's reserved, got a reserve for water. I'll find out exactly what that is. And then we have sink in here. And we also have a full bathroom with a huge bath and this is really handy when you've been working out in the garden you could change and put a shower in here if you wanted to so I can like anybody to use that bath for quite a while anyway <laughs> also washing machine down here, so it's quite a handy utility room. 
But what you could also do, because this is a huge room as well, obviously where they keep, keep all their preserves, all the bottles ready for, for when the tomatoes are ready at the end of the season. And this is how I work together with, uh, with my wife as well, because what I do as a favor is drink as much beer or lager as possible throughout the year. So then we have the bottles to do the tomato sauce. Have you seen, have you seen how we work together? It's a sacrifice, but I am prepared to do it. So this, I think, is, uh, I mean, with the amount of room that you've got in this house anyway, I don't think you need any more room, but if you wanted to, this could just be a self-contained bedroom and, and bathroom. You could easily do that if you wanted to. It's pretty much geared up as that. But just wait while you see the amount of space on offer. So we've got storage under there. Look at these floors. You're going to hear, hear my creaking knees going up the uh, going up the stairs. Everything's so spacious and light. There's a huge amount of light up here. Now, obviously, what people do is keep the to keep the heat in during winter time is to close these stairwells off. There's still radiators uh, in the stairwells, but to stop unwanted drafts and things they will close both of them off and they're both they're double glazed as well look how bright and airy this this entrance is you've got an air conditioning machine yes they're older ones but they work the windows are in excellent condition all upvc double glazed now they do have the gold they've got they've got fly screens up here as well but they do have these gold outside doors, but you could easily get rid of them. Look at the balcony, all granite again. And you just step out here and look over your kingdom. <laughs> could you hear the dog? Amazing, absolutely amazing. So you've got a great size balcony. Then, let me do it the opposite way around. No, I won't. Let's keep the night area for later. Just look the size of this. Open plan, living, kitchen, dining area. And what you have here is a traditional property in the sense that it's split into apartments because upstairs is a direct replica of down here. So if you wanted to, you could create living space on all of this floor and then upstairs have all bedrooms or you can keep it as two apartments maybe you've got a big family and when they come over to visit you might want to just give them a key and say disappear especially when they've been here for days and days and weeks and weeks and you just want them to go and <laughs> you get the idea look at the floors I mean it is a bit of a mix match of floors but I think it works it doesn't bother me at all. This is a huge space. A stunning space. And all these windows again, all double glazed. And everyone has a view. The views here, they really are something special. I love that barbecue. I need to be invited to the first barbecue that you have. I will, I will gladly come. I'll bring the wine. So, kitchen area, all in great condition. Yes, it is an older kitchen. I even don't even know what kind of material that is. But it's in perfect order. Yes, you may want to change it. But it works. Everything works for now. I'm not sure about this 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 dodgy leg. <laughs> That may want sorting out. But how amazing is this? And there's a working fireplace. I love when you come to Italian houses, you just can't have enough tables. Let's get as many tables in one room as possible. Move the sofa out of the way, we're not really interested in that, let's just get tables. <laughs> I 
amazing i love this place obviously if you wanted to this wall could come out because it's only a, a dividing wall so there's no problem taking that out if you wanted to then we have another balcony these balconies are plenty wide enough to sit out on if you uh, if you wanted to remember all this is your garden area as well and then obviously your olive grove the views are just unbelievable unbelievable this is a gonna be quite a long tour this one because it's a it's a big house air conditioning again up there all the doors all in good condition yep the older wooden doors but they're in great condition why change them then you have one of the biggest bathrooms I've ever seen <laughs> they must not live in this apartment I don't, it doesn't look like them these have been used for a while Look at the size of this. His and hers. Or hers and hers, or his and his. Better get the p political, what do you say? Correctness out there. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, who, who doesn't want a blue bath? And blue sink. Then, again, all double glazed balconies with the marble floors. And then it also has a huge shower. And that is a huge shower, that's a great size shower. Amazing. You can tell this was a, a family home. You just get that feeling straight away when you come in here absolutely amazing this person definitely likes blue great size though isn't it then we have a huge bedroom absolutely huge different floor in here that's what I was saying about the differences in the flooring, but it, it works, strangely enough. It just does. No air conditioning in this room. But these houses are, are made to, to withstand heat. This really is a huge, huge, huge bedroom. So out here, you're just looking at the side, just a little pathway. But all of this belongs and goes down into the into the garden area. Love these stone ruins. Just adds to the character. If you didn't want to see next door's garden, then you could just grow something with no problem at all. These wardrobes are enormous. Hopefully you're getting a feel for the size. And then we've got the same again, upstairs. So we're going to have a look up there. Let's do it. I'm going to see if I can do this video in one take. Even though I've had the dog running off already. Again, so spacious. So light. And then we have a replica of downstairs, just slightly different tiles, different colours. Still got this amazing balcony area. We obviously use this to lift things up here, wood maybe. It's like there's also a, a sun, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, is it awning? Just look at the views, you can almost see my house actually. There's just a hill dividing us. <laughs> is that a selling point? I think it is. There's some amazing walks into the mountains here as well. 
stunning area. Okay, so let's carry on looking around this one. Let me close this door so we don't get any. One of the one of the windows is closed in the bedroom, so I need to go and open that. I'm trying to do one take, so I'll open as we go around. Again, another huge room like the one downstairs. There's only one table in this, though. So what would you do? Would you have all living space? downstairs and have all these bedrooms I like the idea of living in apartments it makes a lot of sense you're not having to do stairs all the time cheaper to heat cheaper to keep cool again all excellent windows these amazing views can't get enough of that air conditioning in this room and it's huge again this can come down if needs be we have another fireplace let's look at the kitchen first again all the units but in really really good condition fridge everything seems to be ready and good to go and another fireplace amazing so much space there really is so much space and then yet another Yet another balcony. You can really see over your, over your kingdom from here. Strange, I suffer from vertigo, but I'm all right here for some strange reason. There's Penipier de Monte up there, which coincidentally means Finn at the foot of the mountain. And I don't know if you can see up up on the top there is something that looks like a shark's fin and that's where it got its name from Pena Piedimonte fin at the foot of the mountain try saying that when you had a couple of uh, glasses of Montepulciano I could sit out here for ages shall we sit shall we sit out here shall we sit together shall we share have our cappuccino if that's what you're doing at this moment watching the video maybe some of you are already into wine mode What a beautiful spring day. What an incredible property. So let's continue. This is definitely going to be one of my longest videos. So downstairs, where the slight difference is here, this is where that huge bathroom is downstairs. So if you wanted to, you can have a huge bathroom in here as well. Because you know you've got the pipes below. Or you could keep it as a bedroom. I wouldn't say it's a it's definitely it's not really a it's not really suitable for a double bedroom. It is a single, it's a large single, but uh, brilliant. And again, just in case you need it, another balcony. Can you remember these views? Have I shown you these? <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Somebody is going to be very, very happy in this place. It's even got a disco light, look. <laughs> so if you're not sure what to do with that room, you, c you can just dance. Okay, I need to open this window because this is closed. So let's do with this. I'm sticking to the one take. throws a little bit of light on everything and still really nice views out there as well over the local countryside and this bedroom again is huge and it's got an ensuite in here as well and this one does have air conditioning 
and there's a massive bedroom again. Now that is the only bathroom up here. So if you did want another bathroom, you would have to put one in that room that I mentioned. This is a huge set of wardrobes <laughs> taking up this room. Hopefully you're getting the, the feel of it. And a good size ensuite as well. So if you wanted to, you could also have a, an ensuite in the bathroom below, because you know the pipe works there. And then, if you needed just a little bit more storage space, you know, if you were lacking space a little bit, then you could always come up here. Meet my friend. Not sure about him. Anyway. Under roof storage. You could maybe even try and get a roof terrace up here, but I don't think you need to. Lots of space. They've actually put a bedroom. It could never officially be a bedroom because it doesn't have the the light uh, coming through. And there is a window down there at the bottom. But, uh, there, you, there you go. You could maybe put one of your, your children or grandchildren up here. And then, I've seen this in a couple of places before. Obviously places where they, here they do their ironing and everything. But they've actually got a pizza oven or a bread oven up here, which is just madness. It doesn't look like this one works anymore because it doesn't look like it's got a chimney. But, but there you go. But people used to do that. They used to have the bread ovens and things up in the rafters of the house. There you go, folks. You've seen the place in full. What do you think? I, I'm actually just blown away. Absolutely blown away with how much space you get in here. And the location is just amazing. I think it's time to do final thoughts. Shall we wrap it all up in a couple of minutes doing the final thoughts? Let's do it. So my final thoughts on this one are simply stunning, 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 stunning. How many stunnings can we get on this one? It, it, this is extremely high on the stunning scale. It's just incredible. There's just loads of space. I love the idea of having two separate apartments. There's potential to add a bedroom, sorry, add a bathroom up here if you wanted to. You've always got these amazing views. Location is brilliant nice little neighborhood nice little hamlet the village is just super stunning and you need to check out a place called balzolo as well i didn't have time to do it at the start b-a-l-z-o-l-o -L -O, balzolo which you find at the top of penipini monte that has just an unbelievable walk into the mountains absolutely incredible scenery so location amazing you're close to Guardia Grell which is a beautiful town you're close to Palombaro which is where I live you're close to Casali, Faro San Martino you're close to the ski areas you're close to the beach you're close to Pescara the airport obviously you need a car that's a that's a must what a place I'm blown away and I'm so excited for somebody I really am an amazing amazing place so I think we've just about covered the whole house again so you know you know what's coming don't you you know what I'm gonna say and I always mean it when I say it But I mean it in a different way this time. I don't know why, but, the, but I do. So what am I gonna say? I'm gonna say, whatever you do, whatever you do, 
And the owners, the owners run out of the way now because they've seen them coming out. Let's do <laughs> whatever you do. Do not, do not miss this one. <laughs> 